It felt like a war zone. It felt like 9-11 because we saw people with the heavy machine guns and heavy guns running around. A local man who watched the Twin Towers fall on 9-11 reacting to Saturday's mass shooting in Squirrel Hill. Tonight, he talks about his Muslim community's response to his Jewish neighbors. Yeah, people who have been kind to him. That's why the people at the Islamic Center in Pittsburgh, who come from 50 different countries, are now showing Pittsburgh how to love thy neighbor, no exceptions. <laughs> A passionate call to prayer. <laughs> Fueling a compassionate call to action. They're part of the solution, not the part of the problem. The Muslim community helping their Jewish neighbors, who violently lost 11 members of their family. If your next door neighbor house in a fire, you don't, you don't care <laughs> what's the religious affiliation or anything else. You just go and try to be helpful. The Islamic Center raising more than $200,000 and growing by the hour. It's going crazy and uh, people are calling me from all over. People. International people calling me because they know I live in Pittsburgh. Mizanur Biswas and his Muslim friends rushed to the Tree of Life Saturday. He says because how the Jewish community embraced them in tough times. A lot of our Jewish neighbors and friends came by and say, hey, listen, we are with you. And they marched with us. They went to protest with us. They did everything that anyone can ask for. So I feel like this is nothing but showing the courtesy. Biswas arrived in Pittsburgh 12 years ago by way of New York. It still gives me chill. On September 11, 2001, he was standing along the East River shortly after the first plane struck the World Trade Center. I saw the second plane and we stayed there until, until we, I couldn't take it. We couldn't take it anymore. We were in tears because we saw uh, these two majestic buildings crumbling. All those feelings came back Saturday. It felt like a war zone. It felt like 9-11 because we saw people with the heavy machine guns and heavy guns running around and, you know, we weren't quite sure what's going on. After learning 11 people were killed at the synagogue, six others injured, that sadness turned to action. I was very proud to be a Pittsburgher at that day, you know, in. Pride jump-starting the humanitarian effort to help Squirrel Hill families who lost so much. Biswas told me tonight that he worries about the children who are watching this and how will they react. He's encouraged, though, by the Pittsburgh young people who have been stopping by the center over the past couple days with flowers and hugs and offers to volunteer, which actually happened tonight while we were there. A young Catholic woman who walked from Squirrel Hill to offer her thanks. More on that part of the story tomorrow on Pittsburgh's Action News for right here, beginning at 5.